my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Becca. I am a registered dietitian and I make lots of nutrition and lifestyle and wellness videos here on my channel. And in today's video, I just decided to go back to basics and just do a quick and easy grocery haul. I've been sharing a lot of grocery hauls over on my Insta stories recently, but I decided why not make it a YouTube video this time around so that way it can just kind of live forever here on my channel. So I just got back from Trader Joe's, which is one of my favorite grocery stores in the area. My other absolute favorite is Wegmans. I would say I'd probably go back and forth between those two as far as my grocery shopping. So I just got back and I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I just got, how much I spent, and then also a few of the meal ideas that I plan on making this week with um, a lot of this food. So I have already done a video here on my channel about how I plan out our meals and grocery shop and do all of that. So you can go check out that video if you're curious. I pretty much still do the same process. And typically I like to find recipes on Pinterest. I don't necessarily follow them to a T, but it's just a good way for me to like switch it up and just try new recipes. I typically like to keep it simple and straightforward. I don't like a lot of fancy ingredients. So I just really like to keep it easy, especially for weeknight meals. So for this week, I have four dinners planned out. I typically usually plan five dinners and then on the weekends, we just kind of figure it out. Um, but we are going to be out of the house one night this week because we're going to the Eagles game. So I'm just planning four meals for this week. And then for lunch, Matt will typically just take leftovers and like a bunch of snacks to work with him. And then I just kind of eat whatever. I don't necessarily plan out lunches, but we'll also eat leftovers or roast veggies and or have like tuna or whatever. I just kind of throw easy lunches together. But for our four meal ideas, three of them I got off Pinterest and I'm just gonna go ahead and link those down below. So you can just go directly to those recipes so you can see what I'm planning on making or at least what I'm uh, planning on like kind of loosely going off recipe wise. So the first one is a quinoa chili. Once it is like fall and winter we have a pot of chili like literally every single week but I do try and switch it up and try new recipes so it's not like the same thing all the time which is nice. I'm also going to be making a pesto pasta with brussels sprouts and chicken sausage that's like such a mouthful um, but I'll also link that recipe down below as well. And then lastly the third Pinterest inspired recipe is like lemon chicken with potatoes and zucchini. I'm just going to be like roasting that up one night. Um, and the other fourth meal that I have planned is one of my favorite just easy weeknight meals that's so good and satisfying and also very healthy and that is baked spaghetti squash with ground turkey and just some marinara sauce and parmesan cheese you literally just slice the um, spaghetti squash in half roast it and then I just cook the turkey throw it on top um, and throw the sauce on top and we literally just eat it out of the squash like a big bowl so very easy weeknight meal we absolutely love that um, but yeah so let me show you everything that I just got from Trader Joe's Okay, so the first thing I got was um, some apples. I've got five Honeycrisp apples in here. I've been on like such an apple kick lately, especially because they're in season. Oh, they're just so good. Next, I just got a bag of lettuce. I have even more of this in the fridge because I go through this so quickly. Um, I eat it all the time in my lunches or I'll throw it in smoothies and sometimes I'll like saute it and add it to whatever we're having for dinner. So we go through a lot of spinach. Next, I got a spaghetti squash. Like I said, we just have this, roast it, and then have it with ground turkey and sauce and some Parmesan cheese for an easy dinner, and it's so good. Also picked up some Brussels sprouts for that dinner that I was just mentioning with the pasta and the sausage. It sounds so good. Also got some zucchini for that like lemon chicken meal that I'm gonna make. Also got some pineapple because it just looked so good and I couldn't say no. So that's it for the produce this week. Not that much. Um, I already have some though. Like I already have, um, like I said, more spinach. I have a ton of avocados. I have cauliflower already in the fridge. I like roasting that up and having that with lunch, especially with hot sauce on it. Oh my God. Um, I also have a bunch of sweet potatoes, which I use to roast throughout the week as well. We both eat those. So um, not a whole lot of produce this week, but I already kind of have a lot in my fridge. Next, I have a bag of raisins. We go through these pretty quickly because we like putting them in our oatmeal. And then I also got some quinoa for that quinoa chili. This is their um, organic sprouted tricolor quinoa. This is a little bit cheaper than the other one, so I figured why not go for the tricolor and get fancy. Um, and then I also just got a bag of whole wheat penne for that sausage um, Brussels sprout pasta. <sighs> just realized that I didn't get pesto. Nope, didn't, just didn't pick it up. So gonna have to go back um that's annoying i feel like that always happens but that's real life right 
I got a jar of their um, organic tomato basil marinara sauce. Typically, I like to make my own sauce. I've kind of been out of the habit of making it recently, but it's so easy, and I honestly think it tastes better than any jar sauce I've ever had, but some weeks you just have to get the jar kind, so that's what I got. Also got two cans of diced tomatoes and then also a can of tomato paste, which is for that chili. Also got black beans and corn, which is also for the chili. I got a box of these crackers because they are really, really good. Um, I bought these last week and we were just kind of snacking when we were watching um, like football on Sunday and I really wanted to get another box because they are so good. I also got a carton of organic eggs. I typically only really like to buy pasture-raised eggs, but unfortunately Trader Joe's does not carry them, so sometimes you just gotta work with what they have. Okay, got um, some ground turkey, which will be for our spaghetti squash dinner. Got some organic chicken thighs for that lemon chicken meal, and then also some sausage for the pasta dish. Got a container of Parmesan cheese. We like to sprinkle this on um, like the spaghetti squash meal. We, we can also sprinkle this on that um, pasta dish that I'm gonna make. And then also just got some shredded cheddar cheese to put on top of chili. Also got a half gallon of milk. And a lot of you guys have asked me before why I buy um, whole milk. And it's mainly for my husband, not so much for me. He consumes way more milk um, or much more milk than I do. And he is a really big guy. He is 6'6 and he's very active. So he needs a lot of calories. So this is just one way that I can kind of boost his calorie intake um, and we honestly don't have like a whole lot of saturated fat in our like typical diet anyway so not really that concerned about it it's all about balance also got some yogurt these are for matt to take to work they're just their vanilla yogurts i also got some rustico multi-grain bread um, this is pretty good i like using this for avocado toast matt makes sandwiches um, or like with eggs, um, we'll eat with that too. The ingredients are okay, they're not the best. Um, I like to get, I typically like to buy bread that is very just like pure, normal bread, um, but you know, balance. Um, and I've dabbled in making my own bread and I kinda wanna get back into that. So if you guys have any um, tips or like favorite recipes on how you bake your own bread, like sandwich bread in particular, let me know. And then of course I got my favorite dark chocolate almonds ever. These are seriously so good. They are the sea salt and turbinado sugar ones. They're delicious. They're like just like the perfect little sweet, salty, creamy, crunchy. Oh my God, they're just so good. <laughs> and as far as all of their dark chocolate almonds there, these are like the cleanest ingredients. Um, so I love, love these. And then the very last item I got was just kind of a fun item and I picked up this seltzer water. I've never had this, but I always see it all over social media and people rave about it. So I'm excited to try this and I got the orange mango flavor. So we'll see how I like it. So that is it for my grocery haul. That is everything that I just picked up from Trader Joe's. As far as what I spent, I spent just about $85, which is pretty good I think for all that food, especially because a lot of it was organic um, so make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're if you aren't following me already because I will definitely be sharing um, how these meals turn out on my Instagram stories and don't forget I will link down below um, the meals that I found on Pinterest and I can also link like a blog post how to make um, spaghetti squash in case you guys want to make that as well but that is all I have for this video guys I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul let me know if you want to see it more in the future and of course make sure to subscribe so you are always in the loop when those new videos go up but thank you guys so much for hanging out today and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follower. Fit the box, fit the mold, have a seat in the foyer. Take a number.